Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez AOC is in Texas, and um, she's making some very AOC-type remarks. Uh, here's the latest one. Uh, listen. One day sooner, one day faster, this state will turn blue. It's going to happen with the seat of San Antonio and Austin. It's going to spring down to Laredo. It's going to go up to Houston and to Dallas and to all across the state. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's the, you know, it, the, there's a there's a manic tone to all this that, I mean, the, the first thing I read from AOC, and this is more of a general comment, is the kind of, you have here a kind of grown-up mental infant. Uh, because you notice how in, infants are, or, or even kids, when they want something, or, or they want something to happen, and there's no reason it's going to happen, but they insist, you know, it will, it will, it has to, you know, and, and, and... <laughs> <laughs> and you listen, you watch them with a certain kind of detached uh, disdain. Uh, and, and when you see an adult behaving this way, it's particularly revolting. There's a giddy immaturity to this woman. Uh, and, and, and the sad thing is that may actually be part of her appeal. It may be that the fact that she's um, emotionally stunted is what leads a lot of equally stunted people to identify with her. Oh, yeah, I mean, she's, you know... Um, she reflects the same kind of manic irrationality that they feel. Now, uh, I want to focus on AOC's comment that it is somehow inevitable, inevitable that Texas will become blue. It seems to me that this is confusing desire with fulfillment, uh, intention with execution, illusion with reality. Why is it inevitable that anything will happen? Well, she thinks it's inevitable for a simple reason, uh, and that is that Hispanics in Texas is becoming more Hispanic. Uh, it's becoming more Hispanic, by the way, not um, primarily due to immigration, uh, not, not primarily due to illegals, but primarily due to the fact that Hispanics in the state have higher birth rates than non-Hispanic whites. And so this is what is tilting uh, Texas in the Hispanic direction. But it is no foregone conclusion at all that these Hispanics are going to be blue. This is the basis of AOC's fallacy. She's assuming that the Democrats will continue to get the high proportion of Hispanic votes that they have counted on in the past. She's counting on the fact that the Hispanics are going to go the way of the blacks. And she's hoping that they go the way of the blacks. And But I think a lot of Hispanics say, wait a minute, if we go the way of the blacks, we're going to end up where the blacks are today as a group. We're going to have a deep underclass. We're going to have serious crime problems. Problems. We're going to have Hispanic on Hispanic shootings. We're going to have Hispanics, by and large, our uh, young people devolving into gangs. And Hispanics are like, no, thank you. Well, we would rather be like other groups that are far more successful, that have claimed their share of the American dream. So AOC here is doing an old Marxist type of thing. And Marx did this too. He would prophesy things that were in no way guaranteed to happen. But Marx would declare, it's a scientific law. It's going to happen. The proletariat is going to rise up. Even Lenin realized that this is stupid. The proletariat is not going to rise up. They're showing no signs of rising up, not just in Germany, but in any other country, anywhere in the world. And so Lenin basically came to the view that, listen, if there's going to be any kind of uprising, it's going to have to be done for them not by them. Uh, and it's going to have to be done by other types of people, by maybe by lawyers, by soldiers, by students, by uh, professional revolutionaries. And so that ultimately is what pulled off the Russian Revolution. Nothing was inevitable. History in general is not in a series of inevitabilities, but a series of contingencies brought about by concerted human action. Now, at some kind of primal level, AOC knows this because after declaring that the that, that, that it was inevitable that Texas will become blue. She goes, you got to get out there. You got to do this. You got to, you're thinking, wait a minute, what kind of nonsense is this? If it's inevitable, you don't have to do anything. It's inevitable. But no, she's like, get out there, go door to door. And, you know, without even being aware that she's contradicting what she said one exactly about 30 seconds prior. So this is um, the scrambled egg that we can, we can um, otherwise call AOC's brain. It's a bit of a mess, but it's finding inevitabilities and things that I think are in no way inevitable at all.